I'm very happy that you're actually in Singapore and talking about this topic because um, where you come from, uh, Copenhagen is one of the most livable city. I think it's number one in the Monaco uh, list, and I think it's also one of the happiest cities, the, the people that are happiest. But unfortunately, Singapore ranks not the best city, not the, the happiest city, in fact, the least happy city, and also the most expensive city. And I think we do need to do something about it. And I think one of the things maybe um, you could talk about is how do you start to change mindsets, especially people who have the control? This story I've told is one long story of changing mindsets. And uh, every single city I've ever worked in, it always started with some people coming over and saying, you must realize that this particular place is very different. We have another culture here. We are not Danes, we are Italians, or we are Italians, not Danes. Or now you are in the Big Apple and you cannot ever realize some of the European ways of having urbanity here in the Big Apple, for God's sake. 24 hour New York, no way. Then they do it anyway and it's a fantastic success and the mindset starts to roll. So I've seen so many mindsets being changed and there's so many good examples now around the world and people travel and they hear and see and, and to me it's amazing that Jane Jacobs' old ideas in recent years have been transported so quickly from one culture to the next because they are basically very sound ideas about taking departure point in making good habitat, urban habitat for homo sapiens and concentrating more on that. So it's a very simple story which people can understand right away but they have to see it and see that other cities have done it. They have. So I'm very optimistic 